Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my youtube channel Aiman Story Here is me Aiman Okay today I would like to share with you With my subscribers Relating to this uh, To the newly topic on uh, Biology Especially uh, Focus on molecular biology So today I will Introduce all of you with this uh, kind of topic uh, name is uh, introduction okay of nucleic acids okay so what's this kind of a nucleic acid okay nucleic acid okay, generally nucleic acids it consists of uh, several types but the most common nucleic acids are DNA okay and RNA okay DNA is stands for deoxy deoxy ribo okay nucleic nucleic acid and then RNA is ribo and it is means nucleic acid so the difference is just the uh, initial part of the word deoxy and then this one is ribo RNA got ribo and then DNA also got ribo but there is additional uh, prefix uh, at the uh, at the part of the word deoxy ribo and then ribo nucleic acid so generally uh, DNA consists of DNA and RNA consists of three components okay one is a sugar molecule okay sugar molecule and then second one is phosphate group and then the third one is nitrogenous base okay nitrogenous bases so actually uh, the DNA itself DNA the form of DNA is double helix okay double helix structure whereas RNA is a single strand only not double helix okay so the formation of DNA is something like this we got the sugar and then the phosphate the sugar and then the phosphate the sugar and then the phosphate okay and then on the other part of the strand because of the the structure of DNA is double helix, okay, double helix. So there there are two types of strand that run run in the opposite direction, okay. So this one is sugar, this one is phosphate group, sugar phosphate group, sugar phosphate group. So in between of both strands, there are nitrogenous bases okay nitrogenous bases so actually nitrogenous base is consists of four types of molecule one is adenine okay adenine second one thymine then cytosine and guanine so actually, the abbreviation of nitrogenous base for DNA is ATGC. So this one is for DNA. But for RNA, the three, uh, this, the RNA for nitrogenous base, they got they got A adenine, and then G for guanine, and then C for cytosine, but the difference is for T. The T part is 
instead of T, it will be replaced by the name of this molecule name as U, uracil. Okay, uracil. So basically, the difference between DNA and DNA and RNA is based on the structure because DNA is double helix. Okay, double helix. And then the RNA is single strand. Okay. And then another part is DNA is undergo the process of uh, in, in the central dogma of, of molecular biology, DNA will be transcribed. Okay. Transcribed into RNA. RNA. Okay, and then for the RNA will be translated translated to protein. Okay, to protein. And then the difference between the DNA and RNA also you can see the difference based on the sugar molecule. Okay, sugar molecule. Okay, sugar molecule for DNA is deoxy ribo, and then for the RNA is ribo. Okay, so other than that, uh, we can see the structure of DNA. Okay, the structure of DNA in the general. Uh, explanation we can see that the DNA okay this one is the external part this one also the external part of the structure and uh, the, the DNA structure because of we have the uh, sugar molecule and also phosphate okay phosphate inner structure we got nitrogenous base okay nitrogenous base so the interaction within this kind of nitrogenous space normally influenced by a uh, hydrogen bond okay hydrophobic interaction and also van der Waals interaction so the nitrogenous base is pairing is complementary pair with one another with the uh, addition with the uh, interaction of hydrogen bond okay so basically the environment the micro environment of the inner structure of dna especially within the nitrogen space is a is a normally hydrophobic okay hydrophobic okay whereas the external part of DNA, the sugar molecule, and also the phosphate group is hydrophilic because of the phosphate group has negatively charged. Okay, negatively charged. Okay, so in general, you can see. For this in kind of introduction to nucleic acids, the starting point of the uh, genetic uh, material in this uh, in this in this topic is starting from DNA, okay, as a genetic material, and then it will transcribe to RNA, okay, via the process of trans transcription okay and then for rna will be translated into protein okay basically in the ribosome okay so dna mainly will store the genetic information of the organism of the parent organism and then pass will be passed through the offspring okay or spring okay whereas 
the RNA okay RNA basically the single stranded form of the nucleic acid will be translated into protein okay into protein with the help of ribosome as a site of translation so RNA generally contains a genetic code okay genetic code that will be used for the synthesis of protein okay in the process of translation okay for the dna to rna we call it as a transcription okay so that's uh, the general uh, description for the introduction of nucleic acids so i hope uh, you will be uh, helpful for this information and then uh, we will see in the next video on this kind of topic so thank you for your time and then don't forget to like share and subscribe okay thank you